In the following example question or practice question, you are being asked to find the lattice enthalpy for strontium chloride SSCl2. This question is about the born haber cycle. We are going to use the born haber cycle to find the lattice enthalpy for strontium chloride. Some of the information is already provided in the question. One is that you are given the electron affinity per mole of chlorine atoms, which is given as minus 349 kilojoules per mole. You are also given the standard enthalpy of atomization of strontium which is given as 164 kilojoules per mole and you are going to use the standard enthalpy of formation of SRCl2 which is at, uh, minus 830 kilojoules per mole. Now uh, we are going to try and construct the born haber cycle. The way I do it, I start, uh, start off with the enthalpy of formation of strontium chloride which is when one mole of strontium chloride which is an ionic solid, so one mole of strontium chloride which is an ionic solid is formed from its constituent uh, elements which in this case are strontium it's a group 2 metal so it's in solid state and the other element is going to be chlorine and it should be in its standard state so it's Cl2 and it's in the form of uh, gas so this uh, equation over here represents uh, the enthalpy of formation of SRCl2 Now to complete the born haber cycle you would have to construct, uh, uh, you have to find another path of forming uh, strontium chloride, uh, chlorine uh, forming SRCl2. So we're going, to, we're going to draw another path and we're going to uh, write down all the steps in which uh, SR and Cl2 uh, end up getting converted to SRCl2. So the first, first step is going to be the atomization of uh, let's say strontium atom. So strontium solid gets converted into strontium gaseous atoms let's leave the chlorine molecules uh, as it is we're not touching the chlorine molecule so this is the enthalpy of atomization of strontium so you so and the value is also given we're going to write down the values at the end so this is the first step the strontium metal all the metallic bonding is uh, bonds are broken and you get strontium gaseous atoms in the next step uh, once you've gotten strontium gaseous atoms, let's uh, uh, keep them as as it is. So it's SR still in gaseous state, so we're not touching that. And what we're doing is we are breaking the chlorine chlorine bond over here, and we are forming two Cl gaseous atoms. So we've gotten rid of the chlorine chlorine bonds, which are keeping them to together. So this would be equal to the bond energy of this CLCL bond. So you've broken uh, this chlorine molecule into gaseous atoms. Now the next step is uh, this strontium gaseous atom is going to be converted into an ion so it's going to be it's going to form the SR2 plus ion and again it's in gaseous state so it loses two electrons and nothing happens to chlorine so I'm writing it as it is. This uh, path over here is equal to the first and second ionization energy of strontium because strontium ends up losing two electrons. So when a gaseous atom loses two electrons, so that's the first plus the second ionization energy. Now moving on, uh, the electrons that are lost by uh, strontium, they're going to be gained by chlorine. So the two chlorine atoms and they would be gaining two electrons, which means that one of the chlorine atoms is just gaining one electron. So Cl minus one ions would be formed. So you're forming you're forming Cl minus one ions. But two of them, two Cl minus one ions gaseous would be formed. Strontium is still there as it is. Strontium two plus gaseous. This path is equal to the electron affinity of Cl atoms, but it's going to be multiplied by 2 because uh, you have 2 Cl atoms that are gaining electrons and now we are on to our last step which is lattice enthalpy. If you look over here you have gaseous ions and if these gaseous ions get together they form the ionic bonds and they form an ionic lattice then SrCl2 solid would be formed. So that's your last step and this step is equal to the lattice enthalpy. So this is the lattice enthalpy of SRCl2 when one mole of gaseous ionic solid is formed 
from its constituent gaseous ions. Now the next step is I've drawn the Born-Haber cycle. So this is my Born-Haber cycle. I need to put in values that are either given the table or they, they ought to be found from the data booklet. So let's start filling the values. Uh, if you look over here, you're given the electron affinity per mole of chlorine atoms, which is given as minus 349 kilojoules per mole. So I'm going to put that in the table. Minus 349. So this is the electron affinity of uh, chlorine. It's going to be minus 349 multiplied by 2 kilojoules per mole. Uh, the other thing that's given in the table is the standard enthalpy of atomization of SR, which is plus 164 kilojoules per mole. So enthalpy of atomization over here is given as uh, plus 164 and you're provided with the standard enthalpy of formation of SRCl2 which is given as minus 830. So this is also known it's minus 830 kilojoules per, per mole. Now the values that are missing uh, the first thing that's missing is the bond energy of CLCL and this bond energy can be found from the data booklet. So let's open the data booklet. So if you look at the data booklet, the bond energy of CLCL bond is given as 242 kilojoules per mole. So this value is known uh, and it would be multiplied by 1. Then you have to look at the first and second ionization energy of uh, strontium. This is, uh, remember this is for strontium. You need to find that in the data booklet. You need to remove uh, two electrons to form a say, 2 plus ion. So let's find that in the data booklet. And the values that are given in the data booklet are 548 kilojoules per mole and 1060 kilojoules per mole for the second ionization energy. So these values can be obtained from the data booklet. Uh, so we have pretty much, uh, we have uh, almost all the values in the enthalpy of formation, is, the enthalpy of atomization is with us, the bond energy the first and second ionization energy, the electron affinity and the only thing that's missing is the lattice enthalpy. So we're now going to apply the Hess law which is that one path is equal to the other path uh, in a reaction if you take two separate paths. So it doesn't matter which path you take, the energy change is the, it's going to be the same. So, so one path is you go from SR solid Cl2 gas to SR Cl2 so that's enthalpy of formation and this is your other path. So the enthalpy of formation is going to be equal to this other part. So I'm going to start writing this down now. Enthalpy of formation is minus 830. So let's start uh, working to, uh, on this left hand side. So it's minus 830, which is going to be equal to uh, all the rest of the values. So it's going to be 164 plus it's going to be uh, 242. Then you have uh, 548 and 1060. So it's plus 548 plus 10. 60 followed by uh, the electron affinity of chlorine multiplied by 2 and the lattice enthalpy so it's going to be minus 349 into 2 and then plus lattice enthalpy so if i make lattice enthalpy the subject of the equation and uh, solving for lattice enthalpy i'm going to try and do my calculation remember one thing always uh, make sure that you do your calculations carefully a lot of people get their answers wrong in this calculation part they do everything right and they get things wrong over here so be careful with the plus and minus signs be careful with the values and be careful with your calculator so making lattice enthalpy the subject of my equation the answer that i'm going to get is going to be minus so the calculator that is going to give me it's giving me a value of minus two one four six kilojoules per mole so this over here is going to be my final it's going to be my final answer for this question so we found the we found the lattice enthalpy which is coming out to be minus 2146 kilojoules per bowl